Hello and welcome to People's Dispatch. Today we are joined by Professor Abba Dev Habib from Delhi University, who is here to discuss with us the situation of education, the situation of higher education during this COVID crisis. As these uh, COVID crisis continues, there are lockdowns which have been implemented all over the world. And in most countries, education is as a result shifting online and in her university as well, that is Delhi University in India. A similar trend is being followed. And now the university is set to begin online exams, open book exams from July 1st. And this is happening despite massive opposition amongst the student and teachers community. So Professor Abha teaches physics and she's also the treasurer of the Delhi University Teachers Association. And she will be talking to us about this, uh, about this opposition and about the issues that are in this policy of online education. So thank you for joining us today. And can you first Thank tell you. us? Can you first uh, tell us about what exactly this uh, system is of this open book online exam? How is this being planned, and how will this be conducted? Yeah. So uh, to understand uh, this, first I'll uh, like to share that how the structure of Delhi University. Uh, for example, in Delhi University, courses are offered in two or three different modes. One is regular mode; students have to take classes in uh, colleges or in uh, departments and uh, then we have school of open learning so a distance uh, education mode and then similarly on parallel to distance education mode is um, for the women board uh, for women education but um, based on that distance learning mode uh, and uh, and undergraduate level teaching happens in roughly 55 uh, 56 uh, colleges uh, for humanities social science and sciences while for internal assessments, teachers work, um, take tests, quizzes, and give assignments and uh, assign internal as, uh, marks, uh, uh, internal assessment marks to students. But mm -hmm. all students have to then take a central uh, semester end examination. Mm -hmm. And a combination of this, 25% is internal assessment and 75 is your semester end exam. That total becomes your uh, grades. Uh, these are used towards grades for the students. Now, this announcement of OBE happened only in around uh, 13th May. Hmm. And for the first time, we came to know that the university is thinking of have, uh, having uh, conducting an open book examination. Before that, um, uh, UGC was studying the possibilities for universities across. And university had come with a very flexible formula. And we were looking forward to a similar kind of formula. I want to tell you Delhi University is a central university. Uh, there are other 42 central universities also. Delhi University is a central university. And this means that uh, the student population is very, very heterogeneous. We get students from across the country. And um, in this, uh, there is a very high percentage of um, uh, uh, there are 50 percent seats are reserved for SE, ST, OBC. And then we also have reservation for EWS students. So this is the composition, student composition for our um, uh, of our university. Now, if the university suddenly brings the formula of open book examination, our students are not used to it. Also, the teachers were never instructed to teach in a particular manner. Uh, so that is a, a problem for us. And the open book examination, the university is saying that for each student, there will be a folder crea uh, created on the website in which the question paper will be posted for the day. And the student will have to download, uh, work on the paper, and upload it within three hours. Uh, mm -hmm. As per the university understanding, the question paper is something which the student should complete in two hours. An additional hour is being given only to uh, take care of connectivity issues for downloading and uploading. So this is a basic format and uh, colleges have been instructed to help a student uh, if they are not able to upload. So maybe then a question or if they're not able to download for some reason, because suddenly when a large number of students will be taking exam, other university is not also sure whether the website will work or not. Mm. So colleges have been then uh, given the charge of uh, following up the things uh, case to case. First, I mean, for, uh, give up uh, personalized attention to students, to email them the question paper, to also take their answer script. So mm. this is um, uh, broadly what OBE is for Delhi University. 
So here, of course, you're mentioning issues of connectivity. And now, I mean, what are the other issues that are, that could come up in this system? Because uh, like you were saying, a lot of the students are from outside Delhi, so they would have left for their homes. And I think there have been issues discussed about how they might not have access to materials and internet. So a lot of issues have been talked about uh, in this in in relation to this to these exams can you tell us more about this and why it's being opposed yeah see um one thing is that uh, why do you want to examine student the fundamental question is that you want to examine whether they have understood uh, what you were trying to aim at uh, whether you had those learning outcomes whether the student have critically understood uh, analyzed uh, the reading material uh, learned uh, new things, uh, new techniques, or whatever. Now, when the teaching has been very uneven, uh, you see that you, we were trying uh, to connect for this interview for last uh, 20 minutes, and we did not have connection. Now, mm -hmm. when I say that students from across the country come, then there are many students coming from suburban and rural backgrounds. They come from suburban and rural backgrounds. And if in Delhi, the connectivity issues are like this, you can only imagine what is happening in Rajasthan, in some jilla uh, uh, of UP or somewhere else. Also students, 50% students, I mean, uh, you know, uh, we conducted from uh, Delhi University Teachers Association, we conducted a survey among students. And uh, 51,500 students uh, responded to our uh, survey. And in this, 50% uh, students said that they are from outside Delhi. Now, we need to understand that in Delhi University, we were having a mid-semester break, which also included a festival. Holi was there, um, is one of the major um, festivals of the country. And students had gone back only for three days or four days, thinking that they will be back. So they did not even carry uh, the study material from before the mid-semester break. I mean, for uh, the classes which were done in January, February, March, they do not even have reading material for that. So when we uh, were instructed and the lockdown started around 19th March, just as our uh, university was reopening, the lockdown started. Uh, I want to say here that uh, no institutional help was provided to students or to teachers. Uh, we are in a, you can understand that uh, there is no scholarship for stu uh, teachers to buy laptops, to fi um, have basic infrastructure ready for all times, to be using it all the times. Uh, so uh, it depends on whether I, as a teacher, has uh, you know, created that facility for myself at home or not. Uh, so, and the institutions just uh, as an order, the vice chancellor or the MHRD says that teachers will have to engage students. Now, teachers did whatever they were able to do. Similarly, our students are not uh, equipped with laptops or netbooks or anything. There are no scholarships to uh, uh, ensure that there is minimum infrastructure available at the student's end, uh, say uh, uh, some connectivity, a broadband, or uh, to say the netbook. Uh, so um, when we started teaching, the students said that they have not carried material and they are not even able to you know, connect so quickly because things have happened so drastically for them, the things have changed, that they were taking little time to settle down with the new um, uh, things, uh, a completely uncertain world. And um, uh, we can only imagine that if teachers are, or, um, uh, you know, uh, we are feeling jittery, how our students were take a thing, uh, looking at the whole thing. Uh, so one, they do not have material. The other is that they are looking at, we have a very unequal um, uh, playing field. Uh, we have students from marginalized section. We have a large number of students coming from um, a differently abled section. Uh, so uh, with these uh, things and no institutional help to uh, ensure a minimum level playing field, we can only imagine how uneven our teaching has been. So mm -hmm. for an un uh, uneven teaching, even when I was taking classes, I was uploading material. I was also trying to hold classes on Zoom. I saw that only one fourth student was able to come on Zoom. And they said that connectivity is one issue. Uh, conditions at home is another um, situation that they do not get an environment where they can uh, concentrate on their studies. Uh, the environments are very different for all our students. So a large number also said that environment at home is not conducive for us to join uh, Zoom sessions regularly.
only one four students were coming mm. so when i when i'm making efforts even then i can't reach my students equally and if we look at uh, the delhi university structure which i told that physics honors for example is being taught in roughly 25 colleges now if our teaching has been so unequal can we test students through a centralized examination which is going to be common for all the mm. students and teachers did not protest so much towards internal assessment because when i took internal assessment though i found it very difficult to track each and every student to extend my deadlines but i was still able to reach to my students uh, there are students i will say that i was able to reach but uh, many teachers have reported that even for internal assessment they are finding it difficult to reach to the student because the student does not have any internet connection uh, so i am saying that even for internal assessment suppose i made efforts i tested them on what i was able to teach them how evenly i was able to approach them i um, uh, i tested them on that now for a centralized examination this situation does not um, uh, is not there for the student the student could negotiate much more with me then with the centralized examination therefore we think that any examination right now will be unjust because the teaching has been uneven because the institution you know i am from miranda house and in miranda house i will appreciate that uh, academic committee meetings were held regularly departmental meetings were held regularly so we were able to do a coordinated effort mm-hmm. uh, all teachers yeah. tried to do similar things and we also we are teachers in regular street and uh, we did not have this idea of online teaching various applications all this we had to learn on our own mm. and it did help us to have uh, you know meetings but there were uh, no orders from the university no systematic approach to see that uniformly this was done across colleges or across departments so there are departments in colleges where there has been no coordinated effort now you want to suddenly test the student i think it is very unfair any kind of examination will be unfair because of the un uh, equal level playing field uh, um, uh, unequal um, uh, playing field for the student uh, right now an examination will be map of how uh, uh, well they were um, how well equipped they were Hmm. in terms of infrastructure internet connection environment at home if a student had best of all of this they may perform little better and others uh, will be damaged so we think that any form of examination will be bad the other thing is because we are a central university and most of our students in my class in fact in some departments in some colleges uh, the number of outstation student is as large as like 95% students from outside uh now they are coming back to delhi uh will mean quarantine it will also mean that uh, most of the students do not stay on campus um i mean they, we only have a limited number of hostel seats uh they stay uh, on rented accommodation whether now they will get rented accommodation or not is also a thing so i don't think so pen and paper is possible um a routine exam is possible in the near future and uh, online examination will be completely discriminatory and when the letter of the dean examination came on 14th may uh, the first announcement of ob for the students and teachers uh, i will like to say here that we were very hurt in the sense that it uh, it also filled us with some anger that it did not respond to needs of and entitlements of different sections it did not say that what will happen if in 3 hours a student is not able to upload it did not say what will happen to blind students who need a scribe and who will not get scribe right now because uh, of the norms of physical distancing uh, so i think uh, ob has to be rethought the other thing is that ob in the ob there is no way of maintaining um, uh, it is not a we fear that the private uh, uh, players and uh, group of students can completely rig this examination so in some sense it is not really an examination which will be a credible system so uh, was there any sort of consultation process that was done before the system was announced because of course you mentioned the survey that duta conducted duta conducted but on from the on the behalf of the university was there any sort of similar process that was carried out before rolling out the system 
this is extremely important uh, question uh, uh, suranga and i want to say that whereas hyderabad university conducted a survey of um, and they only have a, a small uh, number of students as opposed to us uh, for us the terminal uh, semester students if we include ug and pg and uh, open learning and uh, regular it will go up to uh, 4 lakhs so we are talking about lot of students in delhi university uh, before taking this call the university or the colleges did not conduct any survey now in that itself is very irresponsible it was duty of the university to in between conduct service every one month or something to see whether institution has been able to penetrate has been able to reach to the students or not and how equipped the students are and uh, no survey was conducted by delhi university i also want to say that uh, there was a 15 member committee which was announced allow around 6th may and it did not have representatives of teachers there are elected members of the teachers in the academic council and the executive council which are our apex body for decision making so no consultation with the decision making bodies no representative teachers representative on this 15 membered committee there was no member uh, from the differently able section of students and teachers uh, duta which is the teachers association no member was invited to this committee duso which is the union of the students and um, uh, it is such a large body and we were not invited so uh, there were no consultative processes and we fear uh, today there is a news in outlook and in times of india about uh, a amu professor a liga muslim university professor who is being targeted by the vice chancellor because he is opposing Uh, open book examination in that central university and we mm -hmm. fear that this pressure is coming from the mhrd uh, to uh, force delhi university and uh, some central university into open book examination to use terminal students as a as lab rats and uh, we have been opposing this and i want to say that there are alternatives there are credible alternatives which not only many universities in india but abroad also who who have adopted and which our own teachers have suggested hmm. and of course you talked about the uh, environments at home which many students might have and how those might not be suitable for studying but apart from that we also have to uh, consider the massive economic crisis that we are facing and how many students particularly from more Absolutely. marginalized communities you know how difficult they would find to uh, to focus on examinations during this time um in this uh, economic slowdown and many small businesses closing all around the country i think uh, the university is being very very insensitive and in pushing for an examination because right now uh, uh, mental well being and physical well being of students and citizens is paramount and you are crushing students uh, also because you did not provide see if the university would have acted as a provider and would have provided uh, and uh, uh, you know ensured that all students were equally reached i could still understand but today when this uh, households are under crisis you want uh, students to uh, you know prepare for a download and upload and a scanner or to go for a good screen uh, mobile uh, a, a, a mobile which can screen um, uh, scan things better i think this is very very unfortunate and i want to tell you that after the lockdown the kind of situation we have today by july there may be many more deaths because of covid and can we really think that the families will be in shape to deal with examination mm -hmm. uh, this is a very big question can a university universities are you know are um, have to be role models to create new um, uh, to respond to new situation in a very innovative manner to um, uh, you know create models Uh, for the society and what we see is that a university is acting in a very insensitive insensitive manner and i want to tell you that in open learning a large number of students come from marginalized backgrounds in mm. our own uh, university a uh, 50% students would be anyway women more in fact in many uh, disciplines the number of women is much more uh, mm. you understand how it is in the country and uh, many more men go for um, 
management courses and this and that but for humanities social science um, um pure sciences a large number of students are women so when i took a survey in miranda house and i asked my students why they were not able to join zoom many uh, women students said that environment at home is not conducive in fact you know today uh, I, i teach in uh, a women's college and i think unless the government promises many more scholarships uh, to women to um uh, uh, students coming from marginalized section and to uh, all i mean generally a large number of scholarships have to be promised if we want students to come back to education because with this kind of slowdown economic slowdown uh, the lockdowns which have crushed economics i mean anyway we were going to uh, um, economic slowdown but lockdown has just broken the back of many households uh, this is in in fact very very unfortunate and that is also the reason why i also do not want students to come back to delhi spend 50 la- uh, 50000 or 70000 to stay here and then give an exam that kind of money may not be available with parents mm. um certainly not for many daughters mm. so uh, finally you had mentioned that there are alternatives to this can you tell us what these alternatives are and also what are duta's future plans for resisting this system of online exams uh see i will like to say that duta has started the movement along with the students and uh, we will uh, take all um, uh, we have taken to social media uh, we have and to just storm and we have been writing representing um to various authorities and uh, so we will carry forward this work uh, but i want to say what are our alternatives and uh, for example iit kanpur it has said that for the terminal for the graduating students uh students who are graduating this semester uh they will assign grades a b c depending on the work they have done uh in this semester and which the individual teachers have marked them already a b c and satisfactory grade they are saying they will not fail anybody for this semester okay they are not going to retain any student because they are paying attention that a uh, student need to graduate on time and uh, the hardship the student is facing they are ready to compromise and they are saying that this is the new solution and for all the students which are not uh, gra- uh, graduating this year uh, this grades will be assigned to them also but the student will be able to improve on the those grades little later mm-hmm. hyderabad university also is looking at the past uh, um uh, past uh, your uh, performances of the student and uh, in delhi university also i would like to say um uh, the for the second year and for the first year the university itself has said that we will look at the internal assessment which has been done now and look at the past performance of the student and uh, with this uh, two components we will assign a grade to the student uh, we only want to understand this that why this cannot be applied to the terminal student terminal semester student in fact you know the terminal semester student has many more past uh, performances hmm. on the basis of which an average can be taken for example for a second semester student there is only one past performance and the university is ready to give that past performance a weightage whereas for the terminal semester student and undergraduate there are five performances which the student has already acquired the uh, stu- uh, the university has given it why can't that average be taken so it is beyond us and teachers are suggesting this only that you take internal assessment and combine it with the past performance but uh, give an opportunity to the student to improve it through pen and paper examination conventional examination whenever it becomes possible for the university uh, to hold maybe next year maybe with the next cycle of the semesters uh, then an opportunity can be given if the student is not happy suppose a student uh, does not want the fifth semester to be used or the first semester when the students just come from outside and they're struggling with their lives in a met- metropolitan city if they do not like that performance to be counted and they're not happy with the grade the university has given to all students on the basis of their past performance and the internal assessment let that student take the exam little later in a conventional manner so this is what we are suggesting and um, uh, if the university feels that it is a credible thing for the first year and uh, for the second semester and for the fourth semester student then i think it is a credible solution even for the terminal semester student so thank you for joining us today
that's all the time we have yeah. keep watching people's dispatch yeah.